Hey, hey, so this week on Fishing Smarts, I'm gonna build a sanding net out of materials I have laying around my house. Because I really want one, but I don't really want to go buy one if I have the materials. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. It's bait fish for uh, fishing, identification, whatever. First step, any project, do a little uh, blueprint. So for this seine net, or seine net as I've always called them, I'll need a couple of poles to support a central net. I'll need some string or rope to attach the net to the poles. I'll need some floats on the top to buoy that part of the net. And then I'll need some weights on the bottom to sink it so the fish can't get under it. Virginia's fishing regulations state that a seining net's maximum dimensions are 10 foot by 4 foot high, so I can't go over that. Okay, we have the blueprint. Fairly good, right? Whatever, I'm not an artist. So I'm gonna go around my house, get the stuff I think I'm gonna need. I'll be back. Aha! I've got all the stuff I need. So, what I've got, I'll show you the small items here in a bit. I have a mosquito net that I used for when I built the uh, firefly tent for my grandma, R.I.P. Nancy. Now it's going towards a staining net. I found this mop. I think it's a mop. I have no idea. I've never seen anyone use it in my house. It's mine now. Uh, I actually have an old crab net. I have two of them. I don't have a crab anymore. So this one, I like the wood for the pole. It's already sanded. I don't have to do any sanding. I got some string just laying around for my moving. I pulled this floaty off my workbench. Should float. It's a pad, I think. I don't even know what it was using on my uh, workout bench. And then I have two weights here. These are just sinkers that you can buy for like two bucks fishing section at a Walmart. So I think we're good to go. Okay, so I've decided, looking at the net, it's really big and it's also a little thin. So I'm definitely going to want to roll up the edges. So I'm going to start with uh, cutting up one of these guys into just four foot uh, long piece. So I can use that as a reference. So I'm going to get out my multi-shape tool. I love this thing. This is the best tool type ever. Whoa, don't start on me now. So put on a blade. I need some PPE. That is loud. PPE. Uh, I apologize, I forgot to turn the camera on. But uh, I use my multi tool to slice the metal on that. Here's me cutting some other stuff for your satisfaction. And just pull that head off. There's a bad cut on that one, don't judge me. But now I have two one of the poles didn't go to 48 inches, 4 foot, so I just made them both 42. So I'm going to use this now, tie one around the end, and use it as a reference. So I'm actually going to put uh, some holes in here so I can tie the rope around it. This doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just doing what I think would be a good tie on. If I use string this big, I would have to use this drill bit to really weaken the wood. Well, let me learn. So I'm going to drill pilot holes first.
this net is actually quite massive if I spread it out. So I shouldn't have a problem finding a four foot area to cut out of it. I don't mind going a little short either. This is going to take a while. And I don't want to waste my day battery. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just start on an end. I'm kind of in between the, uh, there's like an eight foot piece here maybe, six foot. But I'm going to roll it up around it. So I'll have strength because it'll rip. I've dealt with sany nets of stronger material that have ripped. So I found a, a nice method here. I got one end in and I got the other end in. But I cutting, I'm cutting the hole over the hole with this and then I'm threading the string through with a drill bit. So I'll show you one but it takes a while. Okay, grab my string and the drill bit and we're just kind of threading that through. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the first side. I'm going to get the next side going. So I have plenty of net, and I definitely don't need to go to 10 feet. So what I'm going to do is I put it just past 7 feet, and again I'm going to roll up a bunch of the excess on the edges so that there's some strength. And then you'll see there's also excess at the tops, which I can roll down to make the top fold over is strong too. I'm getting there. It's just taking a little while to cut these holes. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna roll the top and the bottom together. So I can strengthen it and attach the weights. So I am going to need some floaty on this and I'm pretty sure this will float. These will be my floaties. It's not easy to drill through. And gotta do a lot more of that. All right, I got the top done, the float is on. Now I'll just do the same thing to the bottom and attach the weights. All right, this is the last tie up. Last weight going on. All right. This is the finished product. The Saini net is done. And I might have to add more uh, sinking weights. These guys. All right, pretty cool. I've got a Saini net. It took me, what, a couple hours to build. That stuff I had in my house. And I really want to use it today, but I don't have a watch on, but I have uh, reserved a kayak on the Potomac. And I have to go do that. In fact, I'm late right now. I need to get over there and do some fishing, but I will test this out tomorrow. We'll see if we can get some minnows and suckers. Smallmouth bass. Put it back in.
All right, well, we are at the creek. I have the Saney net. This isn't really a one-person job, but I'm gonna try it out, try some shallow spots, try some deeper spots, see what we can pull up. All right, let's do this. First go, got a bluegill. So first few attempts, I've learned that I didn't put enough weights on the bottom because it's actually rising a bit. All right, well, I'm at a, I'm at a different spot. Hope I can get some dace out of here. I saw some black nose dace. My flip-flops broke. I mean, I already repaired this one with zip tie. Remember, you can support Code Nature Patreon. Help me get some new flip-flops. <laughs> Got a decent little black nose dace. There's a big breedy male in here that I wanted to get, but I can't seem to find it. All right, so it's the next day. I actually made some modifications. I added three more weights to the bottom because I felt like the net was lifting too much. I also tightened the bottom a bit with some, a uh, few more knots, and I also added two more floaties to the top just to help it with that uh, floating at the surface there. So I'm gonna try to get some new species today. Let's see what I can get. I saw some big suckers swimming in this deep 10 foot pole in the creek, so I had to go try and get one so I could get a proper ID. So I kind of was doing some diving with it because I saw some big suckers. I believe these are white suckers. Looking at the bottom. Yeah, I don't think this is a red horse, but. It's even uh, helped me get some specimens for my Bethemis project. That is a pumpkin seed juvenile. Well, I'd say that net is working. Look at these beauties. Overall, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the Saini net. Works pretty great, so fish responsibly and good luck.